Good morning. We are the leading media house in Ghana. Welcome to Doing Business with us. My name is Odilia Ntiamwa. And the Ghana Airport Company says the expected arrival of the world's largest plane at the Kotoka International Airport underscores the fact that the local industry is prepared to compete globally. Airport Airbus A380 is flying to Ghana for the first time since its manufacture in 2005. It's expected to arrive this morning. Completion of the Terminal 3 expansion project at the National Airport provides a boost to Emirates Airlines' arrival. This is an interview we had earlier at the airport. Doesn't that inspire you? It should inspire all of us. It should tell us that we've got what it takes to run the aviation industry. We have this. We have uh, uh, pilots flying all over the world from our previous Ghana Airways and new ones who have come on. We have uh, pilots with um, Ethiopian Airways. We have pilots with Qatar Airways. We have pilots with. Um, Emirates, and we have air stewardesses, stewardesses and hostesses all around, stewards and hostesses all around the world. So it just shows you that we are very capable, and nobody should think that we don't have what it takes for the aviation industry to thrive in this country. And that, that's a real statement we are making. And even when it comes to just professionals in airport management and all, Ghana Airports Company have staff, professionals, who are working with international organizations on various international bodies as experts, providing technical advice and support to the aviation industry around the world. So how is the industry itself failing at the moment? The industry is growing strongly. I think even the domestic industry is beginning to show real signs of growth. Yesterday when we arrived in Kumasi, at 7.30, the airport was very busy because there were um, flights getting ready to take off and arrive. So we think that the industry is on the verge of a takeoff. Um, last year, the growth in the industry was correlated very positively with the growth in the economy, in the GDP. And we think that we should be able to continue and track that. If possible, even overtake the GDP growth. So rebasing has put the economy at some 30% bigger than it used to be. We'll bring you some more. The economy is now 24.6% bigger than what was established last year. It also grew by 8.1% in 2007. It follows the change in the way the Ghana Statistical Service calculates economic growth for the country. This should mean that more current items have been added to the basket used in measuring GDP for the country. But let's look at how this will hit policymakers, businesses, and even you. For government, the first impact to be the debt GDP ratio which is currently pegged at 66% with a debt stock of 159 billion Ghana cities. But following this rebasing, the current debt stock as a percentage of the total value of the economy would drop to 62%. It may also help reduce the cost of borrowing for the country. A bigger economy than initially thought could also assure investors of some good returns on their capital invested for projects and businesses. The other side of this review is that our tax to GDP ratio will drop further, putting pressure on government to improve tax collections. For some, the development can be described as the good, the bad, and the ugly side of rebasing an economy. Meanwhile, following this development, the economy is now worth 256 billion Ghana cities. Now, if this is shared among a population size of 29 million, then everyone should be getting 8,863 Ghana cities. Well, thanks for doing business with us. I really wish I could, you know, have that, all that money to myself. But that is how we have become big as a nation when it comes to um, how the size of our economy looks like. My name is Odilia Ntiamwa. Let's do some more business at 12.30. <music>